What happens to your body if you drink cinnamon tea every day? Did you know cinnamon is considered a super spice that naturally treats various health conditions? But did you know that there are actually two different types of cinnamon and one you should probably stay away from? Today, let's explore the science behind cinnamon's medicinal properties and how it can help treat conditions ranging from less serious to more serious like digestive issues and the latest findings on using it to treat more serious neurodegenerative diseases. Make sure to watch until the end, because there are some simple tips and recipes for adding more cinnamon to your diet. In certain periods of history, cinnamon has been considered more valuable than gold. As one of the oldest and most revered spices, Egyptians utilized cinnamon for its culinary and aromatic properties, for medicinal purposes, and even in mummification since approximately 4,000 years ago. Cinnamon was also recognized for its potential as an aphrodisiac in ancient cultures. Known for its warm, sweet, and spicy aroma, cinnamon primarily utilizes its bark to create the cinnamon sticks and ground powder that we are familiar with. However, other parts like the leaves, flowers, fruits, and roots are also used. The leaves often for curries and the flowers dried for tea. While cinnamon has many culinary applications, it has also been highly valued for its medicinal properties throughout history. But what are some of its most popular and traditional medicinal uses? The many health benefits of cinnamon come from its unique active compounds and properties. Cinnamon contains powerful components that have anti-inflammatory effects and gives cinnamon its distinctive flavor and aroma. Cinnamon is also rich in polyphenols, which are plant-based compounds with potent antioxidant properties. In various lab studies analyzing antioxidant capacity, cinnamon has top antioxidant abilities compared to other spices. Discover now six powerful reasons why you should drink cinnamon tea every day. Number one, lowers blood glucose levels. Cinnamon is effective in regulating blood sugar levels offering notable benefits for those with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Human studies have confirmed its impact on blood sugar, but comprehensive research is still ongoing. Why does cinnamon have these beneficial effects on glucose? Firstly, it increases insulin sensitivity, thereby ensuring insulin operates more effectively, leading to increased glucose intake into cells. Moreover, it also acts on the digestive system, specifically on enzymes that digest carbohydrates. It makes their digestion more difficult and slower, subsequently delaying their absorption from the intestines to the bloodstream. Cinnamon also contains some substances that have an effect similar to insulin, and this also contributes to its efficacy in regulating blood sugar. Two, offers antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties. Cinnamon has been used as an expectorant, which means it can dissolve mucus in the lungs and nose when you're sick. Cinnamon not only combats infections, but also inhibits the growth of specific bacteria, such as salmonella, and effectively manages respiratory infections caused by fungi. When you chew on a cinnamon stick, its essential oil is released into your body. This oil aids in killing bacteria and helps eliminate bad breath. Moreover, it's beneficial for your teeth and helps prevent cavities. Furthermore, cinnamon has been employed as an antiseptic, proving effective against specific bacteria and fungi. It's primarily applied topically, either directly to the skin or even inside the mouth. I will explain in more detail later how to use cinnamon on a daily basis. Three, relieves digestive problems. Cinnamon has been used to stimulate appetite and enhance digestion. It's also carminative, meaning it helps in the relief of gas, relaxing abdominal muscles, and thereby reducing bloating or flatulence. Additionally, thanks to its antispasmodic qualities, cinnamon helps to relax the smooth muscles of the digestive tract, minimizing potential discomfort. If you are experiencing these symptoms, cinnamon can be a great ally. Four, helps reduce symptoms of dysmenorrhea. Cinnamon serves as both an emmenagogue and an antidysmenorrheic. As an emmenagogue, it promotes menstrual flow 
by increasing blood circulation to the pelvic area and uterus in women. This can be particularly beneficial in cases of amenorrhea, when menstruation is absent for reasons other than pregnancy. However, caution is advised due to its potency in stimulating menstrual flow. In its role as an antidysmenorrhique, cinnamon aids in alleviating menstrual pain. 5. Prevents Cardiovascular Diseases Cinnamon plays a protective role against cardiovascular diseases. It helps lower blood cholesterol, reduce triglyceride levels, regulate blood pressure, and stabilize blood sugar levels. The efficacy of cinnamon in these areas has been backed by studies involving test tubes, laboratory animals, and humans, with increasing evidence lending further support. Nonetheless, if you're considering integrating cinnamon into your regimen, it's crucial to consult your doctor before making changes to your medication or diet. 6. Prevents Neurodegenerative Diseases Emerging research suggests that cinnamon might help in warding off neurodegenerative diseases, notably Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and multiple sclerosis. These findings are primarily based on laboratory animal studies, and human trials haven't yet been conducted. However, the initial findings are optimistic. Types of cinnamon There are several types of cinnamon, but the two main ones are Ceylon cinnamon, or true cinnamon, and cassia cinnamon, or Chinese cinnamon, or stick cinnamon, which may be the most common in many countries. Ceylon cinnamon is called true because it is believed to have medicinal properties that are somewhat superior to the other type. A notable difference between the two is the coumarin content. Ceylon cinnamon has minimal coumarins, while cassia contains them in higher amounts. Prolonged consumption of high coumarin levels can potentially be toxic to the liver, though typical dietary amounts are generally safe. But if you already have liver issues, you should perhaps be cautious and prioritize Ceylon cinnamon, or what's called true cinnamon, especially when using it medicinally or in your diet. How can cinnamon be used? We can explore its therapeutic applications, which include infusions like cinnamon tea, as well as essential oils and other forms. There are also cosmetic uses, like in creams, ointments, or hair masks. Additionally, there are other uses such as an insect repellent, an air freshener, or in gardening to combat certain fungi that might affect plants. What are the other medicinal uses of cinnamon? There are also numerous ways. Firstly, we have cinnamon tea, often crafted as a tisane, which means cinnamon bark is infused in hot water. This comforting beverage can be made through infusion or decoction methods. The primary distinction between an infusion and a decoction lies in the plant parts used and the preparation method. Infusions typically utilize flowers and leaves and involve soaking these parts in water for a short time. On the other hand, decoctions use tougher plant parts like roots and bark, requiring them to be boiled in the water, sometimes for several hours. We have supplements, which can be in powder form, taken directly for medicinal use. For this, you'd need a professional to guide you on its consumption, or it can be included in regular food, which is more common. There can also be capsules, and these capsules may contain powder inside, which is dosed in a standardized form, or it could be a dry extract, which is more concentrated. Thus, you need to know what type of capsules they are and check the manufacturer's instructions. There are also fluid extracts, which are liquid, just like tinctures. You also have essential oils, which can either be from cinnamon bark or from cinnamon leaves. There are also poultices, direct application of the raw fresh herb to the skin, or pastes where cinnamon is mixed with other products and applied directly to the skin. There are mouthwashes used in some cultures and also steam inhalation. This is where boiling water with added cinnamon is inhaled to treat or improve respiratory infections. 
How to prepare cinnamon tea. You can either make an infusion or a decoction. The infusion method is quicker. It involves using cinnamon powder, that is, ground cinnamon. Ingredients you'll use about 1 to 1.5 teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon powder, equivalent to 2.4 to 2.5 grams, 240 250 milliliters of boiled water, a standard cup. Note, this guide specifically recommends Ceylon or true cinnamon due to its health benefits and low coumarin content. It's crucial to be cautious with cassia as it contains a significant concentration of coumarins and could cause liver toxicity. Procedure, pour this powder into a cup of boiled water about 240, 250 milliliters, which is the standard volume for a cup. Stir it well, and then let it steep for about five to 10 minutes with a lid on, so the flavors meld and the nutrients dissolve. Serving. You can then drink this tea either hot or cold, based on your preference. Some people like to strain it first to have a clearer liquid, but either way works. Others might choose to add a touch of honey or another sweetener. This is all a matter of taste, but it's not necessary. Can cinnamon be mixed with another medicinal plant? Yes. Some people mix it with green tea, black tea, or brew it alongside ginger, cloves, and other medicinal herbs. Combinations are possible. Decoction is used for the harder parts of the plant. For instance, in this case, whether it's in powder form or as a stick, you're dealing with the bark, so a decoction helps in extracting its valuable substances and nutrients more effectively. To prepare, first bring water to a boil, then add a cinnamon stick or branch. Allow the mixture to simmer with a partial cover for about 10-20 minutes to ensure the cinnamon's nutrients are fully dissolved. Once done, strain the liquid. This brewed concoction can be enjoyed either hot or cold. Some people enhance the flavor by adding a touch of sweetness, perhaps with honey or a splash of lemon. If your goal is to lower sugar levels due to type 2 diabetes or because you have prediabetes, it's recommended that you drink cinnamon tea or infusion during meals. However, always consult with your healthcare professional before making any significant changes to your diet or routine. How much cinnamon tea or cinnamon infusion is recommended daily? Typically, one or two cups a day are suggested, each containing 240, 250 milliliters of water with powdered cinnamon. As mentioned, you'd use one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoons per cup, where a teaspoon equals 2.5 grams of cinnamon. According to the World Health Organization, the maximum daily intake should be restricted to four grams of cinnamon. This could be divided into four doses, each containing 0.5 to one gram. An upper daily limit of two to four grams is advised. So these are the recommended guidelines. There are also other recommendations regarding cinnamon tinctures or fluid extracts, as well as cinnamon essential oils. It would always be wise to consult with a healthcare professional regarding these matters. What are the potential side effects and risks of cinnamon? In general, when used in food and at the typical dosages, it's safe and shouldn't cause any issues. However, when used medicinally, for instance, in infusions, it's recommended to use true cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon. Cassia cinnamon, on the other hand, contains high levels of coumarins, potentially leading to liver toxicity. This risk increases for those with existing liver concerns. Taking cinnamon in large doses might cause gastrointestinal issues, including symptoms like abdominal pain, diarrhea, or general digestive symptoms. Some individuals could be allergic to components in cinnamon. Symptoms might range from skin rashes to respiratory issues. There can also be skin irritations, especially when used topically, and even more so when in the form of essential oil, and even further if it hasn't been properly diluted. While cinnamon offers various health benefits, it's essential to consume it responsibly. 
Consultation with a healthcare professional is recommended if considering therapeutic uses or if experiencing adverse effects. It's also important to consider potential interactions with medications, typically with anti-diabetic drugs. This is because the effect of reducing blood sugar could be enhanced, leading to symptoms, and as a result, medication adjustments might be necessary. Also, in the case of anticoagulants, this effect can be amplified, especially with the cassia cinnamon we mentioned earlier. For therapeutic purposes, choose Ceylon or True Cinnamon, which has lower coumarin levels. Cassia cinnamon, while more common, can pose risks due to its higher coumarin content. Generally, it's recommended to start with the lowest dose and gradually see how your body reacts, determining if you can consume slightly higher amounts. Occasional culinary use of cinnamon shouldn't be a concern during pregnancy or breastfeeding. However, always discuss with a healthcare provider for clarity. The safety of medicinal doses of cinnamon during pregnancy and lactation hasn't been well studied. Thus, it's best to err on the side of caution. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have something to add, please share it with us in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and share the link with your family and best friends so they also know all the cinnamon benefits. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to support our growth and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. To gain further insights into naturally healing your body and preventing undesirable illnesses, you may also find some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right now that you'll surely find interesting. Feel free to click on any of them, or even better, watch both to continue your knowledge journey with us. Thank you for watching. Take care and see you in the next video.